this is sound out here today with another power rangers rpm get in gear okay i just still look excited because the show is so awesome i had to wait for it to show up on youtube because my channel was showing a local show in place of rpm and i got really mad yeah so mad that i was just like putting this guy together and rebuilding him and then the ball joint snapped okay there's a little backstory behind this one this one i just got because i needed a replacement i bought the auxiliary tracks line guardian this one here not this one here um another one and i was transforming back and forth you know moving the pieces around oh this isn't like it moving the pieces around popping off the ball joints and then i broke off the ball joint well that's because the ball joint as seen here is too big for these holes in here. Um, proof that my story is true, here's the figure from the other one. Um, why would I have two of these anyway, aside from one that's broken? Um, it's just kind of disappointing because I spent ten dollars on it and it breaks because Bandai has, apparently has, it's only with this one. I haven't had any stress marks or breakage with the other three it's just this one um so this one was a little disappointing but i have figured out a fix for this problem since the sockets are too small i took an exacto knife like this one here i know a blade very sharp blade if you're if you're under 18 watching this get parents help or if you're really good with the blade and you're 13 or older then you could do it yourself with your parents permission of course uh... yeah i did this all myself a little bit ago and i just carved away the plastic around the outer ridge of the the socket and now when i plug it on instead of it popping on real tightly it pops on kind of loose and it comes off real easy this is, is very very helpful so i suggest if if you're a parent watching this video to do this for your kids if you want to get them this toy and they really want it it will really help so you don't have to keep buying them over and over again because the, the the ball joints keep snapping um but onto the figure itself um we have here the blue ranger whose name is Flynn in the show and he's Irish funny for a New Zealand actor um but anyway he's got the number two He's got the helmet missing the, the yellow lines and the paint on the wheels. A little got curve. Really a, a armor suit. Kind of thing in addition to the to the regular suit. Going on like this. Um, the, he is significantly taller than the regular Blue Ranger. Oh, let me put that up there longer. So you can see, he's about a head taller than the regular Blue Ranger. His articulation is the same as the Eagle Guardian, which you can check out on my channel. The arms go out, the arms rotate, the wrists rotate, and the legs go out, they go forward, they bend at the knee, they rotate at the, at the ankle, and that's about it. Oh, and the head turns 360, but that's really tight. Um, the, these pieces here are all the pieces you need for the... Um, for the armor and all that. There is three modes. There is the animal mode, the vehicle mode, that sucks, and the guardian mode. I cannot figure out, even from the instructions, how to make the vehicle mode. I'm so sorry I can't show it to you here. I just can't see from the picture and I can't tell from the instructions on how to put together this sucky vehicle mode. So I'm just not able to show it. Um, if you do figure it out, please post a video response. I'd like to know just so I could do a, a video update to this. Um, saying that the vehicle mode. I'd just like to know how to put it together so I can, huh, I don't know, light the broken one on fire. 
I don't know. I just like to know for some reason. Even though it sucks. Um, but yeah, the ranger would ride on the vehicle and be Really? It doesn't work that well. But on to the lion mode. So this is, of course, the lion ranger. So you have this piece here. You want to rotate and click into place. So that's all solid. You want to take this here, pull it off to the side. These legs here, um, you want to take these flame wing things, and you want to put it on um, like that. That for both sides. So I'll put this one on here. Okay, and put those aside. Now, to assemble it, do not pull the cord on your headset, or else it'll fall off your face, and then you screw up in the middle of the review. Okay, you want to, first of all, take this tail piece and plug it in. There's, there's a little, there's a little the groove here, and you want to plug that in there. Why is this showing up purple? It's, it's very blue. Okay, it's blue. No, it doesn't cuss a lot. It's the color blue. Um, then you want to take these little legs. You want to find that this is the left one, so you want to put this in the left hole here. And the right one in the right. No, that's this is the right, this is the left. Put that in the ah. It can be tough to get in. But there you go. They're in. Um, you want to take these and plug them on here. It'll be a loose fit if you do my modification, or else it'll be a really tight fit and you probably will break the toy if you don't use my modification. Um, and plug that back on. There you have the cool lion mode. Um, again, the legs will fall off. This mode really isn't for play once you do the modification, but it'll avoid breakage of the toy and you having to spend a hundred dollars before you get a really good one, um, that, that's that's my estimation that you'll you'll buy at least ten before you get one that will never break. Then again, all things break over time, which is a sad sad fact. I'm just trying to fix the line mode here, off screen. Sorry about this. Um, things are falling apart because my modification I used I, I cut away too much. You don't want to cut away that much, but you want to cut away just enough. So that way you don't have a toy that's going to break every time you move it. And my line... Okay, I'm just going to leave those parts off. Uh, okay, so you can see there's the line there. It's pretty neat. Um, no posability. Well, these are on ball joints, but again, with my modification, they pop up. Alright, for the um, for the guardian mode, it's pretty neat. You want to take this tail piece, so you don't lose it. You want to put it in his mouth. Um, that's what I do at least. You want to take these little legs off, you want to take these big legs off, and you pretty much have this with the stick sticking out of it. Um, you want to take these, okay, you want to make sure the hole is facing towards you, or towards the front, and you want to plug those on. Okay, if I, if I don't stop dropping it, this, this review will be one part. Um, you want to take these and plug them onto the plugs on the back. Huh. Sorry, my mouse keeps getting pulled back by my computer because the cord isn't long enough. Uh, this plugs on here, and then these little legs plug onto the ball joints. See why it's important that you don't break the ball joints? Because you need them a lot. I'm taking a look closely at my... putting this really close to my face. Okay. So there you have the armor ready to go. So you can go like, Guardian armor, armor eyes, and then break it over his head. Then you want to put the plugs into his back, plug it into his back, and bring that forward. Put that in his hand. Now he's got a lance thing. I noticed that these Guardian figures have weapons similar to their, um, to their weapons they have in their normal form. His is not. It's a lance with two little cannons on the front. I guess that's supposed to represent the turbo cannon. But, anyway, that's pretty much it. Articulation's the same. Um, it does